Boy, oh boy, I just accidentally turned on my heater in the middle of August, and now it smells funny in here. <laughs> that cannot be good. But anyway, greetings, Earthlings, and welcome back to Podcastage 2, a.k.a. The Deuce. What is the difference between the Sennheiser MD-421-2 and the Mojave MAD? I'm just going to give you a quick spoken word comparison between them. Currently, you are listening to the Sennheiser MD 4212U79R82 on the music mode, so no high pass filter engaged. And now I am on the Mojave MAD. This is what the Mojave MAD sounds like compared to the Sennheiser. Jumping back to the Sennheiser, here is how it's sounding. This is the Sennheiser MD 421 2U. I cannot remember the model number. And jumping back to the Mojave, this is the Mojave. Both of them are running direct into the 18i 22nd gen. Gain is set at around 4 o'clock, so 90-ish percent, assuming a linear gain structure. Hopefully that's helpful in determining the difference in tone. Let's try plosives. Please bring pizza. This is the Sennheiser. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Mojave. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. How about handling noise? This is me tapping on the Sennheiser. And now I am tapping on the Mojave. Now, how about the proximity effect? I am currently touching my lip to the Sennheiser MD-421-2. You can hear my lips scraping against the plastic. It is absolutely disgusting. And jumping over to the Mojave, I hear a lot more clarity in the top end, but you can be the judge of that because I'm monitoring. Don't trust my ears. Right now, back on the Sennheiser, but let's go ahead and try to engage some of the high pass filters there you go this is getting as aggressive as it can there we go that is all the high pass filter we have and again back on the mojave mad there you go now before i share any of my thoughts on these microphones i would love to hear what you think of them in the comments down below which one did you like the sound of better which one do you think performed better in each of the tests let me know. But now I'm going to share my opinion and my conclusion. Both of these microphones are extremely bright, dynamic microphones. What a surprise. As far as the handling noise rejection, I think the Mojave did slightly better at that. Neither of them were fantastic, but I think the Mojave did ever so slightly better. For plosives, again, I think the Mojave slightly beat out the Sennheiser. It's not going to be amazing for either of them putting a plosive directly into them. A windscreen will be your friend. A pop filter will be even a better friend than a windscreen. As far as the proximity effect, if we disregard the high pass filters on the Sennheiser, I think the Mojave wins. It has a more exaggerated top end. And when you are right on top of it, the proximity effect is kind of offset by the boost in the upper frequency. So I think it handles that increase in bass a little bit better. However, you have all of the high pass filters at your disposal on the Sennheiser. Ignore the noisy switch, but you can go ahead and clean that up and then you don't have as crispy of a top end as the Mojave. You don't need that huge boost to get a similar effect. They sound drastically different. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying you can, if you can attenuate the low end, you don't need the same exaggerated top end to offset it. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think because of that, the Sennheiser slightly wins out on the proximity effect if we take into account the high-pass filters. 
Then we get to the overall sound of the microphones. With the Sennheiser, I hear a bit more mids in this. It's not as scooped sounding. We get a lot more upper mids and then not as exaggerated of a treble and air frequency in comparison to the Mojave. It is still a very bright dynamic, but you're getting more in those upper mids. Then when we get over to the Mojave, you can automatically hear it sounding a bit clearer. But the first thing that I hear is a bit more weight, a bit more heft in the bass and low mids. The general mids, they sound a bit pulled out, a bit recessed. That could just be that it has a bit of a bump in the low end, then you get a lot in the top end, and that leads to it sounding ever so slightly, or maybe more than ever so slightly V-shaped. So the mids, not as dominant. Then you get a lot of treble and air and detail. For a dynamic, it is very detailed sounding. But that's how I would classify both of these microphones. The Sennheiser gives you a bit more of the mids and upper mids, and then a nice amount of treble and air and detail. The Mojave gives you more of a V-shaped, and it is hyper detailed. Okay. That is it. Just wanted to give this sample because somebody asked me a question. I didn't know, so here you go. This is the result of that. Found it useful. Thumbs up. Hated it. Thumbs down. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Whoa. Whoa.